Hey everybody, welcome to Ready, Set, Drone. Uh, I'm still in the honeymoon phase with my DJI Spark. Um, this is an amazing little quad. I've been playing with it quite a bit recently and had the opportunity to go to the launch event. So uh, you might think I'm biased. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not, but I'm about to do the most boring video I can possibly do about it. And that is, I'm gonna put it up in the air. I've got three batteries uh, for it. And I'm gonna put it up in the air and I'm gonna time how long it will hover uh, with no wind. We're, I'm under an enclosed area, and I'm gonna take the average of the three hovers, and that's gonna be my result. Uh, I'm gonna let it go down to 20% battery and see what the results are. So stay tuned and we'll check it out. I charged all three of them last night on the triple charger here and all three of them are showing uh, four dots because they all just came off the charger just a little while ago. Now on the Spark website it says that the Spark gives you 16 minutes of flight time and 15 minutes of hover time. Now why is that? Because the Spark uh, actually gets a little bit of lift when it's moving forward. So if it's moving forward it's going to give you an extra minute of flight time. I'm not going to move it forward so I'm just going to hover it and see how it compares to that 15 minutes that they claim. I'm gonna do it three times, take the average, and calculate at 20% battery what the remaining life would be to get to 0% battery. So my times are gonna be less than, uh, less than 15 minutes, of course, but I'll just do some fancy math and calculate what it would be if I took it all the way to zero. Oh, one other quick comment. Uh, my Spark currently has prop guards on which I've been using a lot because I don't have any spare props for it and I wanna make sure I don't damage the ones that I have. Um, that said, I'm gonna go ahead and take the prop guards off because I want it to be as light as possible. Okay, so I am connected to the Sparks Wi-Fi network, uh, as you can see here, and I have taken the prop guards off the Spark, as you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and open the app and um, use the app to fly it. Now, I could fly it without the app, of course. I could use the gesture modes and the hand takeoff and all that, or palm takeoff, but I'm not doing that. And why? Because I want to be able to make sure I can actually see when the batteries are getting to a certain level. So I've got my app open. Uh, it's telling me 98% battery. So this one, as again, it was charged last night. It's been sitting for 12 hours or so. So that might be the case. So 98% battery. And I'm gonna make sure that I have I'm going to make sure that I have my, um, uh, all the cells are reading 4.27. Uh, I'm going to make sure my low battery warning is at 20%. So I'm going to do that for all three batteries. And when they're at 20%, that's when I'm going to land it. Okay, and just FYI, I'm using a iPad as the clock um, right here. I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, stopwatch. So I've got it all at zero. There we go. And start. Okay, clock's running. So now this is the boring part of the video where I just sit here and watch it for approximately 15 minutes. And I'm also uh, not going to move it much. I'm not going to fly it much because I think that'll actually drain a little bit of battery. So I want to see just how long it will actually hover. We are at 10 minutes. And the Sparks battery level is 23%. So I'm expecting it to land soon. And 20%. 1036. 1036. Oops. I was uh, watching Droner News. Uh, 1036 is the first official time to get to 20%. So remember, that is not uh, 1036 for the entire battery. That's 1036 for the 80% uh, of the battery. The I think the flight time is based on 100% of the battery. So I'm going to have to do the math and figure out what that ends up being for the whole battery. So I'm going to swap it out and do the same thing uh, two more times. Okay, so I've reset the clock to zero. Uh, 1036 was the last landing time at 80%, but we'll figure that out in a moment. 
but let's go ahead and take off for battery number two, fully charged, and see how it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, boot it up and wait for it to connect. Battery says 98%, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the takeoff and then start the stopwatch. Okay, stopwatch is rolling, drone's in the air, and I'm gonna sit here and watch Droner News for 15 minutes. Okay, we are at 20% and I need to land it. The time is 11.32, 11.32 at 20%. So I'm bringing it in. Okay, I caught it on my palm because it was gonna miss the table slightly. Um, 11.32 for the uh, second battery, uh, running it down to 20%, so I'm gonna write that down. I've got my uh, stats right over here, 10.36 on the first one, so the second one was quite a bit better. Um, so let me uh, refresh the batteries and uh, put it up in the air one more time and see what the average is. Okay, third battery. Uh, Okay, I'm at 21% and almost 11 minutes, 10.49 uh, on the clock. All right, 20% and stop the clock and come on in for a landing. And that last um, flight with a full battery was 10.55 is where it, um, stopped at 20%. So again, keep in mind, that's not the full um, amount of time that it can fly because there's 20% battery left. So I'm gonna do the math real quick and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay, so I've done some math on the battery life of the Spark. And what I had to do was basically figure out how many seconds the thing was in the air uh, each of the three times. Battery one, it was 636 seconds, 10 minutes and 36 seconds. Uh, battery two was 692 seconds. Battery three was 655 seconds. I divided by four, so that gave me uh, what one-fifth of the total should be, and I then added that to the original number, or multiplied by five, and that gave me the uh, total of what 100% should be. And so the total, or the average between those three was almost 14 minutes, 13.9 minutes, 840 seconds is what I got for the 100% battery life of the DJI Spark uh, if you were to just hover it. Um, so they advertise 15 minutes for hovering and 16 minutes for free flight or forward flight as they say, but uh, I got uh, a minute less, 14 minutes. So it's pretty humid today. Uh, the batteries were all freshly charged and we're at the 97, 98% uh, mark because I took them off. I don't know if you'll ever get one exactly at 100% unless you take it off right away and stick it in. But, um, you know, uh, 14 minutes of flight time on a little tiny drone like this is not too bad. Um, but I thought everyone would like to know, if you like this, please hit the like button. If you have comments and uh, want to argue with my math, I'm open to that because I'm not a math genius, but I think I got it right. Um, please comment below. And if you really like it, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks for watching.